What's up guys, Josh here, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about tattoos. Personally, I think tattoos are freaking sick. I have one myself on my back, which I'll show you later. First, we're gonna talk about why tattoos are bad, or why they're perceived bad, negative, what? The first thing is that people say it's permanent, which, yes, it is, but no one, no one really cares. If you like artwork and you want it on your skin forever, why does it matter? Just make it original and don't copy anyone. Another reason is if you're looking for a job, but that's just bullshit, I think. People say it's intimidating and it looks bad, but it doesn't actually affect job opportunities as much as it did like 20 years ago. People say, make sure you can cover it, but that's just bullshit because it's literally a form of artistic expression. You got a tattoo and you should like it enough if you got one to show it to people. Obviously there's the job type where you're exposed to younger children, but as long as your tattoo is like not explicit, I don't think it should matter anyways. Another reason people say not to get a tattoo is that you haven't thought it through enough, but like you can think it through enough, right? I don't necessarily think you even need a reason to get a tattoo. Like as long as you like it, it's fine. Obviously, Thinking about it is a good idea, but I feel like it's not a good enough argument not to get one at all. Another thing is that people say, or I don't know, if, or people do, I guess, judge you for them. Like I said earlier, if you like it, then I don't think you should give a shit what the other person thinks. Obviously you might, if you're that type of person who thinks that way, but uh, you shouldn't. Just saying, this is the first time I've done a recording like this where it's just me and the camera talking about a subject. In forever not including the podcast that we were doing because that does include two other people so it's less awkward so i apologize back to the point they got it they liked it they still like it so fuck off the only argument i can understand maybe is the health risks but i don't think the risks are actually big enough unless you have a severe allergic reaction which i'll get to in a minute you can get diseases through contaminated needles but as long as you do your research and you go to a clean um workshop, artist, tattoo, parlor, whatever, then it should be fine. Be safe about it. If it doesn't look good in there, don't get it from there. And now for the allergic reaction part. The colored dyes, I think it is, especially the red dye, I think, I don't know for sure, have like trace amounts of metal in it, which can cause an allergic reaction later on. And it's basically because a substance foreign to your body has just entered your skin. It's literally being injected into your skin through cuts. So yeah. The other main thing, like I just said, is that your cut or your tattoo is an open wound. So there is a risk of infection, but literally just follow your artist's safety or like aftercare procedure daily, whatever, until it's fully healed and you should be fine. They're literally cutting you up. So of course there's a risk of, of uh, infection, but just follow a proper cleaning regime, 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 and it should be fine. I'm actually making a video about that soon. Don't know when, but soon. So uh, look for that in the future, I guess. I don't- fuck. Fuck me. One more reason, which I think is also another pretty big thing that people talk about, is that it'll look like shit when you get older. They say it'll look saggy because your skin sags, or it'll look faded, or it'll look unfitting for an elderly person, or maybe as a parent, I don't know. But basically, when you get older, your skin thins out, and I believe fat gets redistributed in your body. But like, it also depends on where your tattoo is then, and then even if it does change a little, it's not enough to look god-awful, I don't think. Like, you can look up online, um, like, older people with tattoos that they got when they were younger, and they still look fucking fire as fuck, right? As far as I know, it'll just look a tiny bit shifted, or like, there's a crack in it or something like that. And fading is greatly dependent on sun exposure. I don't know even how much it has to do with getting older. And ink is a great deal better than it was in the past. So honestly, it's fine. You can get it re like done over, I think, is what it, I don't know what it, the actual term is. And then it'll look brand new. So it's fine. It's fine. Now that's why people say that tattoos are bad, but here's why I think they're good. Getting a tattoo, apparently, this is just what I heard online, can actually help you get a job now. I don't exactly know why, I just, that's what I got from when I researched it up, so I don't know. It's also a big confidence and self-esteem booster, I'd say. Most people look good with tats, especially when they're done well, and they fucking own it, and it, it just gives, I feel like it gives you confidence in that way. Another thing is that tattoos have gotten so much more popular nowadays that I don't know if this is true, but it might eventually even be harder to find people for a job that don't have a tattoo. I don't know how far in the future that may be or if it'll ever even happen, but it's, it's a possibility. I'm just saying. 
Another big reason is your body is yours. You can't let someone tell you that you can't get a tattoo. Obviously, if you're younger, you'll have to wait until you're 18 or whatever the age is where you live. Or if your parents are fine with it, they can give you permission. But it's literally artistic expression. You're putting what you love on your body, so it's fine. It's good. Um, another reason is that it's you can use it to mark significant events or using them as a tribute to someone that you know and love. But even then, they don't have to have a significant meaning. People have been tattooed for literally thousands of years. Apparently, the oldest evidence of a tattoo on a person it dates back to all the way to 3100 BC, which is a fucking long time ago. And I don't know if that's true, that's just another thing that I researched while doing this video I thing. Yeah. And tattoos don't change you as a person. It doesn't make you any less kind or respectable or I, anything. It doesn't change who you are. It just changes what you look like. Another thing I've heard tattoos being used for is either co covering scars or like, or like your skin itself for like people who have skin conditions. I don't know what the condition is called, my, my apologies, but like that skin condition where you have like patches of darker skin or lighter skin as opposed to the rest of your skin tone. I feel like I'm fucking this up horribly. But to the point, for scars, you can either cover or accentuate them. Same thing with skin conditions, I guess. I don't I don't really know how this works. But yeah. Alright, now I have my own tattoo. It's a pretty big one. It's my first one ever also and it's on my back. Kinda reminds me of like the Iron Man thing, just on the wrong side. Cause it's like circle shape. Uh, what no one cares. I got it in Thailand when I was on vacation there with my family and my girlfriend. It is called a Sak y Yant tattoo. And basically the dumbed down version of the meaning of it is that it protects me from evil spirits or something like that wherever I travel, no matter which direction I travel. So I, ah, fuck. God damn it. I can't even properly explain my own tattoo. It was also a very spontaneous thing. I knew I wanted a tattoo there but I didn't know exactly what. So when I went to the parlor I went to, I just searched up the nearest tattoo parlor near me, and this was like a really well-rated one. I just totally missed my finger there. This was a really well-rated one, and their studio was extremely clean. It's actually probably cleaner than a lot of the ones you see here. And the woman who owned the business basically gave, or told me about like traditional Sakyan tattoos, um, asked me what I was looking for. She gave me a bunch of options, and I chose this one because it looked cool to me. It was more original than other Sakyant tattoos, and it had a more significant meaning personally than the other ones. And I basically chose that within two hours of being there. I paid a deposit, I went there the next day, got that tattoo, for it took like an hour and a half or something, and then I left. And it was freaking sick, I loved it. It wasn't a traditional one where they do the bamboo and hammer, uh, it was just a normal tattoo with a... Uh, Gun? Tattoo gun? Is that what? Yeah, that's what they're called. Anyways, I'll show you the tattoo now. Hopefully, I don't know if you can fucking see this. I hope so. Pretty, pretty fucking sick, right? Yeah, fuck yeah. This was also close to the end of my Thailand trip, so I did have to get on an airplane. I think it was the next day, or the same day. I don't remember. A long ass airplane from Thailand back to Vancouver, which. I, I don't know for sure. It's like, I think it's more than a 10 hour flight. It's like 13 hours. I could be totally wrong. It could be a lot more or less. I don't really know. But you know how they say like your tattoos get very itchy and stuff within the first day or whatever? It did. When I was on the plane, my, my tattoo was already starting to scab over and it fucking itched horribly. I think overall I did a pretty good job avoiding scratching it, but obviously I, I wasn't perfect about it. Um, I did follow a proper cleaning reg, 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 a proper fuck. I did follow his advice and also advice online about cleaning and treating aftercare. That's what it's called. I followed proper advice on aftercare for the tattoo. But back then I worked at a Greek restaurant and during the nighttime around dinner time it gets super busy. And I'm the type of guy that sweats from like taking a long enough walk. Or if it's past like 15 degrees outside, anything will make me sweat. And that aggravated the tattoo a lot while I was working because I was a busser and I had to run to tables, clear them and shit. And I was really hectic. And then at one point I just gave up 
I went into the back for a, a bathroom break, and then I basically scratched all of the scabbing off, and I thought I just fucked myself over. I thought my tattoo was gonna be absolute shit and completely faded. But surprisingly, when it did fully heal, as you saw, it might have looked faded in there, but that's just probably because of the light, I hope. But it turned out pretty much perfect. There is There was no visible, like, scarring or, or fadedness or any parts that weren't as tattooed as another. So overall, I was very happy with it. I was just, like, super excited. Because I, before this, before the entire trip where I got the tattoo, I was wanting a tattoo for years, like three years before that, when I was 14, I think is when I started getting interested in tattoos. And I do want a lot more. I think in the future I want maybe one or two more on my back, maybe a couple on my torso. I'm thinking about a full sleeve, not like a single piece of art, but over time a bunch of different artworks that kind of go well together, if that makes any sense. And before I get into the tattoos I want, I don't, did you hear me? Did I just slur that really badly? Before I get into the tattoos that I want, I realize I said that you should have original tattoos but I think the fact that this is a Sakyant tattoo, it's a tr traditional, tional. I think the fact that it's a traditional tattoo kind of is different than if you have, if you're stealing artwork from another artist. And even then, it's still original to me. It has a meaning that can relate to everyone, but it also relates a lot to me. All right, last thing, the tattoos that I want. The first one is a Kodama which is a sort of creature from an anime called Mononoke Hime. I don't know what- what's the English called in that? The anime is called Mononoke Hime. In English, the title is called Princess Mononoke. But yeah, that's where the creature I want is from. Actually, maybe I can find a picture of it. Hey, look at this shit. I got- my friend got me these cards. You can't- it's super overexposed but they're Princess Mononoke cards from Studio Ghibli in Japan. Thank you, Tasha. That was super besides the point. I found a, and I realized that this right here, I don't really want to take it off. I'll zoom in. It's probably going to be really awful uh, quality, but then you can see what I want. Um, another one that I want is from one of my favorite movie trilogies. I, would you call it a trilogy? I don't know. But Lord of the Rings is one that I want from. And I want a quote written in Elvish, which is like the language that the elves spoke but I don't want there's like some really famous one that everyone gets uh, for a tattoo and I don't think I want that just because everyone gets it I think I'd want to find a specific quote that I really like from it that's not copying everyone else's ones the next one I want I want a tattoo for two art or two tattoos for two separate artists that I really like the first one is Jeremy Zucker and it's for the song flying kites which is I think the song that really got me to listen to him, and I'm, I'm not, I, he's fucking popping off now. Maybe I'll make a separate video for this in the future. But I'm just saying, I liked him before he was popular. And I'm not just saying that to say that. I went to his first ever concert, which he was opening for, um, for Lauv. And then I went to his first ever headline tour ever as well. So, fuck you guys. I'm, I'm a, a fan, uh, moving on. The other one is Matt Mason who is another artist that I really like, and I think he's popping off too, which is kind of unfortunate. I get really jealous about these things, and I don't know why, because they're an artist that I really like. It's freaking amazing that they're getting popular, but it's like, fuck, I can't be selfish about it now. I either want something from his song, Straight Razor, or Me and My Friends Are Lonely. And then my other last tattoo idea, well, I have a bunch, technically, but a lot of them aren't as strong as these ones. Like, for example, I've wanted something to do with sacra trees or sacra blossoms or something like that which is just cherry blossoms i've also wanted and it's some sort of adventure tattoo not like the arrows or the anchors or that stupid shit but i want to like create some original artwork for that but the one the, the other one that i actually kind of want is from an anime called yu yu hakusho which is the first anime i've ever watched beside aside from pokemon because i don't know if that really really counts as my first anime, I wouldn't, I wouldn't consider it just because of how mainstream it was. But um, I don't know entirely what I would get from it. All I know is that I appreciate getting something from it. And yeah, that's all my tattoo ideas for my sale. And I think that's all I had to talk about as well. So I guess we'll end the video here. How about that? I fucking, I did it. I completed a video like this, a vlog. <coughs> I just burped. I think a little bit came up. Hope you all enjoyed. Please like, comment down below, and subscribe for more content from this channel. I post somewhat often. Go check out the Sundays podcast that me and my friends Jan and Jonathan just started. 
Episode 1 is on YouTube, Episode 2 is probably going to be out before this video, and Episode 3 is something you should look forward to in the future. It's kind of ranty and not the best one that we've made, but it's still pretty good. Other than that, see you all in the next episode. Josh Evans.